Bonjour and welcome to this tutorial. This is aimed at foundation French for the AQA GCSE and we're going to be looking at the first question on the writing paper which is the photo card. So the photo will look something like this and it is as you can see question one on the paper and you will see a black and white picture with something going on in the picture. And then you will have the question, qu'est-ce qu'il y a sur la photo? And you are asked, écrivez quatre phrases en français. And as you can see, you will be given space to write four sentences. And you can see across the side there that each is worth two marks. If we've got four sentences to write and they're only worth and they're worth two mar marks each, then we should be able to manage to get full marks on this task. It's not too complicated. You don't have to make it um, developed or write any opinion phrases. You just stick to a set phrase. So I'm going to show you how to get the maximum marks um, possible on the very first question on your foundation paper. Let's have a look. So the first phrase that I want to teach you is the most useful phrase that you will have and you can use this for every sentence that you write. Sur la photo il y a. On the photo there is or there are. Now we know we've got to write four sentences but they can all start with this phrase. So sur la photo il y a. Be careful with the way that you write il y a. This is the most important part of the phrase as it carries the verb. After sur la photo il y a, we then need some nouns. I'm going to give you four very useful nouns that will potentially give you a full mark answer. So we start off with an um, which means a man. Une femme, which means a woman. Un Garçon, which means a boy, and une fille, which means a girl. It's possible that you could have a photo with a man, a woman, a boy and a girl on it. And if that's the case, then you have your eight marks sorted. As long as you start each answer with sur la photo il y a, Un homme, sur la photo il y a une femme, sur la photo il y a un garçon, sur la photo il y a une fille, then you have your eight marks. We might not be quite that lucky, um, you may just have one or two of these, but of course you can use them if they are indeed on the photograph. It might be that you see more than one man, more than one woman, for example, and you want to put it in the plural. And just like in English, we tend to add an S to word, to words to make them plural, so des hommes are some men. Des femmes, some women, des garçons, some boys, des filles, some girls. We could change the des to a number, so we could say quatre hommes. If you can see four men in the picture, then this would also get the two marks for you. Sur la photo, il y a quatre hommes. Okay. Usually we see at least some people on the photograph, so these will be useful pieces of vocabulary. And I suggest that you learn each of these four nouns as they crop up from t um, time and time again. There aren't always going to be um, one of each of these, so you may need to use different nouns to describe what is in the picture. Um, but I really can't stress highly enough how important it is to keep it simple. So if, for example, you are seeing a man and he's wearing a t-shirt, then one of your sentences can be sur la photo il y a un homme. Next sentence, sur la photo il y a un t-shirt. As long as you're not repeating information, then this is absolutely fine. So a t-shirt would be a suitable um, extra noun to give you your sentence. We can potentially give the place where they are in the photograph. So we could say un parc or un collège. Um, but really the message is to keep it very, very simple. Each sentence starts with sur la photo il y a. Then we give one noun and we begin the sentence again. Sur la photo il y a and another noun. 
as long as we keep it with this structure and we use a um, French noun accurately, then you should be on your way to getting eight marks in the first question of your foundation writing paper. Bon courage!